Nature's first green is gold, her hardest hue to hold. Her early leaves a flower, but only so an hour. Then leaf subsides to leaf, so Eden sank to grief. So dawn goes down today, nothing gold can stay. It is 2007. Christian is 25 years old, and Megan is 21 years old. By March 5th, 2007, Christian emails Megan to apologize for hurting her feelings, saying that he was simply giving her his honest opinion after consideration for her story suggestion. He offers her the ability to provide villains that his comic book antagonist, Reldnak Natsu Natsurk, then discusses including her OCs as well as other characters in his comic book series. Megan emails him the next day on March 6th, making a request for her female character to not be anthropomorphized through the addition of breasts or underwear, stating that she doesn't believe in giving animals that human quality. On April 30th, Megan indicates that she is unhappy in her current living situation, how she has no life where she lives, and her wish to broaden her personal horizons. Shortly afterwards, she follows up with this sentiment. One more thing. Please minimize your touchiness. You know well I dislike it, and I keep reminding you. Understand I'm not angry, but annoyed and a bit disappointed. I remember you said you'd never do it again, and yet... I know you're just being friendly and all, but I really hate being touched by anyone. Christian emails her on May 7th to talk about Soul Calibur and sends her a poem. Then Megan emails him on June 4th and discusses her infatuation with the Namco character Yoshimitsu, from the Tekken and Soul Calibur series. The next series of emails from Christian to Megan took place from June 27th to July 28th. Megan took a trip to Kentucky, and there are no known emails from her to him during this period. Christian's first email comes from June 27th, wherein he discusses Transformers, the Gundam series, and Animal Crossing. The next day, Christian provides Megan with an email where he discusses his grief regarding Patty Chandler, the Chandler's Beagle Spitz mix that was put down a year earlier on June 28, 2006. There is nothing to note in regards to emails sent from July 3rd to July 15th, save for Christian's admissions that he fondly thinks of Megan, he cannot wait to see her in person at the game place, how he feels lonely, but that it's worth waiting for her to return. On July 15th, Christian announces to Megan his submission for a contest. About June 29th, I created, edited, and submitted a video entry for PlayStation.com's Chop Chop Master Onions Rap Showdown. I submitted it through email, as well as uploading it to YouTube and VO. I just got an email from the PlayStation people, and good news. Congratulations! Your Parappa the Rapper video contest entry has made it into the voting phase of the contest. We will post your video on us.playstation.com and invite the PlayStation Underground to vote on their favorite. Let me know if you have any questions. Good luck, Nathan, PlayStation Community Support. It would be so awesome if I won the grand prize. A trip for two to Seattle, Washington for the Penny Arcade Expo. And I couldn't think of anyone better to be there with me than you. This contest was announced by Sony Computer Entertainment America in June as a means of promoting their video game, Parappa the Rapper. According to the contest's rules, contestants were required to film themselves performing one of three raps from the video game. Chop Chop Master Onion's rap, Instructor Mussolini's rap, or Cheap Cheap the Cooking Chicken's rap. Members of the PlayStation Underground would vote on the entries in July. Contestants were required to perform whichever rap song they've chosen a cappella or singing without instruments. Whoever won the contest would receive the following. Two PSPs and an all expenses paid trip to Seattle, Washington for the 2007 Penny Arcade Expo. Hey, P Station. My name is Christian Chandler. I live in Bucksville, Virginia. I have a PSP. I like the rap. I play with the rapper. I go with you now. The only song I know is Master Onion, which I got from a demo I bought from my friend Megan. I have the PSP and she don't. So give me the PSP. I rap the rapper so I can give one to her and then we can play together. So here we go. We're gonna sing it now. Master Onion On June 29th, Christian's rap is uploaded to YouTube under the title Master Onion a la Mode, wherein he stands in front of his PSI and reads the lyrics to Chop Chop Master Onion's rap, with random video effects utilized throughout its duration. On July 23rd, 
Christian emails Megan to wish her a happy birthday and tells her about his plans to garner votes for his Parappa the Rapper submission. I am spreading the word throughout MySpace, MySonichu, Pocosite 2, English and Spanish, Hot Wheels, and Bionicle websites, through the PlayStation Network with help from playing online with MotorStorm to get names, and locally at the game place and such about voting for my Parappa the Rapper video. I'd really like to win that trip and those PSPs so I can share the experience with you, my closest, sweetest friend. Who knows? Maybe I can wing it for good results. At least I can keep you up to date, even though it may still be a while before you can read these emails. I'll send you another one soon. Have the happiest of 21st birthdays because you've got a nice family to share it with and me. Faithfully yours, Chris Chan. On July 28th, Christian tells Megan about his further efforts to gain votes for his submission, then tells her that he yearns to take her with him to the Seattle Penny Arcade Expo, should he win the competition. Also, I have been working hard on spreading the word around locally, on MySpace and on the PS Network, about voting for my video on the PlayStation website. I've played Motor Storm online to get a bunch of names for new acquaintances. I've rarely been able to make it at first place. But one time I did manage to make third. Quite the stress work, but it will be worth it if I win the trip to Seattle. I fantasy you and me taking the trip, having fun at the Penny Arcade Expo. Maybe take a tour of the Nintendo of America company, playing Guitar Hero with you on my PS3 in our hotel room, and basically just being with you, period. And I would give you and John the two PSPs, but I would keep one of the two Parappa the Rapper games. But I digress. I hope you and your family are doing well and good in Kentucky. I'd wish for you to come back sooner, but I can't control how soon John will be able to finish his mechanic course. I'll be happier when you are standing in front of me again, safe and sound. That's enough for my heart, blush, for a while, my sweet friend. I'll email you again soon. In addition to Christian's actions online and offline, he reached out to others, including PVCC guidance counselor Susan Hannifin from his time with Mary Lee Walsh, and his half-brother, Cole Smithy, to garner votes. Every single day. On August 3rd, the results were in, and Christian lost to Adam Stackhouse, another contestant. In this video, Stackhouse performed the Cheap Cheap the Cooking Chickens rap, and appearing beside him in the video is his younger sister. It is important to note that only Stackhouse's voice is heard throughout the duration of the video, performing both the rap and the beatboxing. Christian mentions Stackhouse's submission in a PSM blog from July 31st, where he rates and reviews the top 10 submissions as Sonichu, starting with his own submission at number one. Number two is Stackhouse's video. Number two, from Adam Stackhouse, video one. It's okay if you like someone making the music in the background. It took away pops from the rapping of the two cooks, and adding seafood like in the song to the cake, are you kidding? They should have done it without the noise. It's in the rules. A petite comical moment comes around with an empty plate for no sample and turning off the TV after thinking about it. I give it four out of five stars for moderate effort. After seeing the results, Christian emailed Megan expressing his anger towards Adam and his melancholia regarding his loss. I just learned that I am not the winner of the Parappa Chop Chop Master Onion contest. Among their 10 videos, they were organized alphabetically. I checked the HTML source, and that explained why I was number 7. Anyway, that lucky jerk, Adam Stackhouse, assuming to be his email name, gets to go to Seattle. That SOB should have really been disqualified. His dance was supposed to be music-free, yet he has some shitty beatbox noises in the background throughout his video. So did two others. I am angry, depressed, and lonesome all simultaneously. I worked so damn hard, I sent like over 500 messages between MySpace, PlayStation Network, and AOL. And I even made up over 120 dummy email accounts to match with their dummy PlayStation accounts so I could stuff the fucking ballot. I really wanted to take you somewhere fun and exciting so you and I could be together for longer than usual. And I really wanted to give you and John each a PSP. I failed. So much effort, rapping and dancing with goofy effects to be even considered. Spreading the word as far and wide as possible. Wasted. And I did it all for you, Megan. I had you in my heart as I chopped the onion a la mode dance. I gave so much energy. Even had a gut virus for a couple of days. Crazy, I guess. Anyway, I'm not in such a delightful mood at this time. It may take a few days or so for me to recover. Then again, you make me feel happy. I just realized that you were 
and still are a continuing inspiration for me. I looked at you in our photo ever since you left for Kentucky, and I get a happy feeling, from the feeling of having you to fall on when I feel low. You are such a delightful listener, and you are truly intelligent when you talk about what interests you and such. I am so delighted to have you in my life, and I appreciate you every day. Oh, so what if I didn't win that trip? I still can look forward to being able to coming over to your house, or you to mine sometime. And I will get to see you at least on Fridays, although I'd like to be able to be with you much more than that. I like you so much, Megan. Although I'm certain you have oodles of stories of your days in Kentucky, and I truly look forward to listening to you telling me about them. Thank you, Megan, for being my continuing inspiration. I hope you all are doing well, and I await your safe and sound return. Take care. Christian emails Nathan, a member of Sony's community support that he's interacted with prior to this email about the contest's results. In addition to my message on your machine, I really wanted that trip so I could have a chance to impress my sweetest Megan and possibly fulfill my dream of getting married and soon have a daughter named Crystal. Yet now I, a frustrated, high-functionally autistic 25-year-old virgin, have been balls broken like I have through a big chunk of my life in America's favorite game, Kick the Autistic. I had my fantasies of having fun with Megan, taking her to a really extravagant destination. I am not rich taking a long-wanted tour of the Nintendo of America company tour with her, playing Guitar Hero against the guy in the Parappa costume, jamming with Megan in the hotel room and possibly our first time in the bed. Life can be so unfair and fucking corrupt. But I digress. Take the acapella rule to the max on those three out of ten videos. Take care. The next day, August 4th, Christian emails Nathan again about the performers, making his case about why Stackhouse did not deserve to win and why some of the other contestants need to be disqualified, misunderstanding the definition of acapella. I do not believe Adam Stackhouse should be the winner of the Parappa the Rapper Chop Chop Master Onion contest, and there are a few others among the top 10 who all have violated the posted official rules. Please allow me to describe the violations as I rewatch the saved videos from my PSP, and I quote the official rules. The performance must be a cappella, meaning without music, and it must be one of the three songs that are provided on the contest entry page. The lyrics must be the same lyrics used in the game. Changing the lyrics will result in disqualification. Please do not include other people in your video as this will also result in disqualification. And if you don't believe me, you should watch the 10 videos again for yourselves. The bolded and underlined names are the names of the individuals who have violated the official rules, and the bolded details are the obvious violations. Video 1, Adam Stackhouse. It has music. He has his sister in the video with him. Video 3, Aperluski. It has music. He has a dude in the video with him. Video 5, Brudel. He has his dude friend in the video with him. Video 7, CWC Sonichu. My video. Granted, I did start and end the video with an introduction and Guitar Hero ending, and that was only a photo of me and my friend Megan. The rules do not state anything about photos. I had the printed lyrics taped to the tripod holding the camera, and I did not change any of the lyrics of Chop Chop Master Onion. That was why I was leaning forward at times in the video. And obviously, I had no music during the song. Video 10, Surya Bushwald. It has music! And it sounds more like the theme to Super Mario Brothers than Chop Chop Master Onion. And I will note that upon close inspection, the three guys are the same dude. I understand that it's too late to hold another election, but I suggest that you award the grand prize to the highest voted among the six qualified videos. Christian also posted an entry in his PSM blog about Adam Stackhouse. This is directed mostly to Adam Stackhouse, the SOB who was the alphabetically first video in the Parappa contest and got wrongfully the big prize. This jerk's video was against the no music rule. His, Surya Bushwald, and Amperluski's video all should have been disqualified because they all had music. In any case, I loathe Adam and his sister for stealing my one chance at taking my sweet gal friend to Seattle. It would have been terrific. I might have even been able to change her outlook on not planning on having children. She and I are both virgins, although I am a frustrated, high-functionally autistic, 25-year-old virgin. And I loathe Surya Bushwalt and Aperluski as well, because their music probably landed those jerks in second and third. 
I don't have much going on for me, really, because I have been the dog in America's favorite game, Kick the Autistic, for my whole life. I curse those seven people between the cast of the three illegal videos to die and burn. As for Adam, if he is reading this and is asking, you've got something to say to me? I do. P.S. Fuck you, you dream-smashing son of a bitch. As a means of rectifying his loss, Christian created a website emulating the PlayStation Underground site and advertised that he won the contest. Meet the newest Parappa Rap Master. Chop Chop Master Onion would be proud. We gave you the beat, you gave it your all. Here is the Parappa the Rapper, Chop Chop Master Onion's Rap Showdown winner. Christian C. is going to PAX Penny Arcade Expo at the Washington State Convention and Trade Center in Seattle, Washington, August 24th, 25th, and 26th, 2007, with a friend. Congratulations. If you didn't enter this contest, don't be discouraged. More contests and more fab prices are always on the horizon for GAP members. Your chance is coming. The ex-winner, Adam Stackhouse, was disqualified on the grounds of violating the official rules on two counts. He had licensed beatbox music playing from a licensed boombox. He had his sister illegally in the video without authorized consent. We of the PlayStation Underground apologize for the confusion and inconvenience of not having dealt with this injustice sooner. Please disregard any web pages that may state the contrary. They shall be taken down by our webmaster momentary. On August 5th, Christian emails Megan to tell her about his anger towards Stackhouse. Yesterday, after some rest, I still felt anger and resentment against that lucky SOB winner. But I have found two faults in his video that were against the official rules. There was music, and there was more than one person in the video. I have also found three more out of the remaining nine with the similar violations. I have sent some emails among the PlayStation Consumer Services, and I have called the company personally and registered my grand complaint. It's not a matter of jealousy or loss. It's the principle of rule violations. Justice will be done to the seven people involved in the four violating videos, or I am not autistic. Anyway, I wanted to let you know about that. I hope you are all still doing well in Kentucky, and I will truly feel so much better when I see you personally in front of me safe and sound. On August 8th, at 12.41am, Megan responds to Christian, indicating her annoyance towards Christian's actions. Christian. I haven't been checking my email until recently, and I just want to say that your behavior has irritated me for the last time. First, I'll start off with saying that I'm glad you didn't win the contest because I have no interest in going on a trip alone with someone who can't keep his hands off me. I'm not your girlfriend and I will never be. When I say don't touch me, that means don't touch me. What may seem friendly to you is sexual harassment to me. You whine that you're just being friendly, but you obviously have no consideration for my feelings. The way you went off on Nina because she patted me on the head was very rude and uncalled for. Just because someone else has made physical contact with me doesn't give you the authority to do so. Remember, I have the right to, to decide who can come near me. Also, I can't say I like how you used my photo in your video and on the cover of your comic book. I want them removed from the internet immediately. Since I'm not a MySpace member, I can't view what you post. If there are any photos of me on your blog, I want them removed. And I don't like your quote-unquote Megan obsession. I don't like being a character in your comics. I don't like how you made me a character in Soul Calibur and Animal Crossing. That kind of behavior really freaks me out. With all that said, we are down to two options. A. We remain friends and only friends, period. As in no more touching me following me, asking me questions, and giving me things. We could still battle and trade cards and talk. Or, B, never see me again. I'm sorry I must come down to this, but I've told you repeatedly in a nice way to stop, but you never listened. I hope you will finally take what I said into serious consideration and know that if you try your advances again on me, I won't be nice about it. Please listen to me next time. Megan, 